I think that um, it's really important for artists to work in community. Um, there's a vibrancy that happens when people are working together, um, even if they're in their own studios. Um, knowing that other people are, are here being creative is inspiring and uh, definitely helps like fuel the fire. My name is Ashley Pastori and I make handmade paper and prints. I've been a printmaker for mm, like 12 years uh, and a paper maker for probably around three, whenever I graduated from grad school. I became interested in printmaking in undergrad at Cleveland Institute of Art. I really like the ability to repeat something that you've carved multiple times. Printmaking is kind of an umbrella term that encompasses a lot of different techniques. Here at Grounded, we have uh, a couple different presses that allow us to do a few different kinds of printmaking. So we mainly focus on uh, uh, relief printing, mono printing, and uh, hopefully soon etching, um, which are, and also we have letterpress, um, and they involve either car carving into a surface and then inking it up and printing it, or um, mono printing involves uh, essentially painting or drawing on the surface of plexi and running it through the press and getting a print, um, and etching involves carving into things like copper or zinc or even plexi and then the ink sits in the grooves that the lines make um, on the surface of the uh, matrix. My favorite kind of printmaking is etching which involves uh, uh, copper plates um, and either drawing directly onto the surface of the copper or drawing onto a resist something like asphaltum and putting it into uh, ferric chloride acid and the acid eats into the copper. Um, and it, they make really beautiful prints. You can get some really interesting lines and plate tones and different kinds of things like that. The process of paper making is kind of difficult to explain without showing somebody first. There's a lot of steps involved. Um, it starts with shredded paper or shredded uh, fabric or anything high in cellulose and then it gets loaded into a paper beater which essentially grinds down the paper uh, to a pulp mixed with water and then that gets put into a vat or container mixed with more water and then you use a tool called a mold and deckle to pull sheets of paper, dipping it into the water. That's the first section, the first part of paper making. And then uh, the water gets pressed out in the hydraulic press, and then it gets loaded into a paper dryer and dries for uh, probably, you know, 18 to 24 hours. I have made paper from uh, a few things that are kind of interesting, or at least they are to me. Um, I've made paper most recently from shredded um, linen tablecloths uh, that I got at some estate sales. So they were, you know, kind of the left behind white tablecloths that, you know, might have, have some stains on them. Um, and it made beautiful paper, seriously beautiful paper. And then I also used my friend's undershirts. Uh, he was throwing out a garbage bag filled with just cotton undershirts that maybe had some stains on them. And I was like, what are you doing? What do you, th like they're hundred percent cotton. Um, so I shredded those and made paper with that, which cotton is one of the most common things that you make paper with, but coming from undershirts, it made it kind of fun. And I was surprised at how beautiful the paper was. Um, oh, we've also made paper from uh, pheasants back mushrooms and some other kinds of, like I did kind of a, an amalgamation of a few different kinds of mushrooms. Um, so we were testing that out. The, the uh, pheasant's back worked the best and made some really interesting paper that felt kind of like 
almost like, you know, those bags that they're replacing fruit and vegetable bags with that are compostable. Do you know the way that they feel? That's the way that this paper kind of felt. So that was fun. That was really exciting. Grounded is a place that I wanted to build here in Erie because uh, something like this does not already exist. Um, and I wanted to be able to come back to my hometown and live here and have access to the tools that I wanted to use for the kind of art that I have been making. Um, and there's a lot of communal print shops all around the country and world. Um, that I have visited or worked at and you know, I saw this model in these other places and I um, Thought this would be a good this would be a doable model here um, and it has been I've learned so much and things have changed and grown and morphed over time um, and I definitely this has kind of become more of an educational and environment um uh when we're working um but having access to to heavy equipment that's expensive and specialized is a privilege and it's not something that I can essentially you know afford to do on my own and most printmakers paper makers I think would say the same so that's why we have communal print shops that's why we have these shared spaces where we can use the tools that we wouldn't be able to just have in our houses. So on Erie Makes Day, we are going to um, be making paper sheets and also doing um, some lino linoleum block printing and maybe some mono printing. You will be able to pull your own sheets of paper. I will load it in the dryer and you can come back at a, you know, maybe within a couple days to pick up the paper. Um, but then uh, the printmaking stuff that we're going to do will be most likely on handmade paper and you should be able to walk home with your uh, print that you make.